It's spring on the Red River Ranch near Hollis, Oklahoma. And on the banks of the Red River, the mesquite is greening up. Things are beginning to bloom. The prairie wind is still a mite cool, but the coals and the cook stove are glowing fiery red. And some city slickers are learning to live and cook like cowboys. As my wife says, I wasn't born a cowboy, but I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. David Chapman from Gulf Shores, Alabama, is actually on his second trip to the Chuck Wagon Boot Camp. This time, he brought his brother-in-law, James Dupre, from Dallas, who's in charge of today's entree. We had a beef and put some onions in it and some baked beans and uh, green chilies and some seasoning. The instructor and host is a real cowboy and a real good cook. Kent Rollins. I run it the same way we do when I'm on a working ranch cooking for cowboys. Uh, folks come in on Wednesday, they stay in a teepee, they sleep in a bedroll. We have no facilities, no electricity, none of that. Uh, people are actually amazed uh, to see the scenery, plus uh, learn that uh, they can't exist without cell phones. And without gas stoves. It's all Dutch ovens and wood stoves out here. Now that means you control heat with a shovel and the chances of burning your lunch are pretty good. It might not be your idea of a vacation, but James Dupre is thrilled. Well, you know, you go around vacation, five-star hotels, Europe and everything, and this is a real experience. And so is Peggy Hull from Ruston, Louisiana. My daddy was a cowboy and I wished I'd been around when they were riding the range. This was Peggy's idea. She talked her husband, Russ, into it. People that come, we've had all types. We've had people that are chefs, and we've had people who are outdoors people, but uh, people come away with a different aspect of life as to how they, people really actually cook, you know, back in the 1880s, and, and to learn to cook something in a Dutch oven that you can cook in a conventional oven. They, they think it's one of the greatest things in the world. And when it comes time to eat, nobody fails the class today. The cornbread is perfect, the desserts are delicious, and they're the hardest things to cook at the campfire. Kent says there's hardly anything that you can't cook in a Dutch oven, but there are some things he won't cook. We were doing schools uh, on the coast of Alabama one time, and I tell them when we get through every day, somebody brings something tomorrow and we'll cook it. I don't care what it is, we'll cook it in a Dutch oven. And the lady brought something the next day and I asked Jess and she brought it up there. And I said, ma'am, what'd you bring us to cook? And she said, calamari. And I said, what? She said, calamari. I said, ma'am, if I can't spell it, I ain't gonna cook it, I promise you. And I didn't have a clue what it was. And she drug it out of there and I said, no ma'am, we ain't putting that in none of my cast iron, I promise you. 